Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we're taking a look at another great aquarium fish food that I came across and I got this from bottom feeding fish. So this food will sink at the bottom and your fish that eat at the bottom of your tank will be able to eat without any problem. I got this for my Corydoras and this is the Ocean Nutrition Tropical Wafers. And as you can see this is a picture of a Corydora catfish and a loach. Now recently when I was feeding my fish, uh, I was observing that my Corydoras were not getting enough food because all other small fish that swims around in the tank or eats at the top of the tank uh, were eating all the food. By the time any food reached at the bottom, it was not much. So the Corydoras were not getting enough food. So I decided to get this one. I was searching around and came across this brand. This is a Thailand based brand. I have no idea whether this is going to be good food or not but it turned out it was one of the best food that I came across for especially for the bottom feeding fish. So these are ocean nutrition tropical wafers and as you can see this is the packaging look. This is a Thailand based company and this is how the food looks. You can take a look at the label here as you can see the pricing is 950 rupees. I got this for about 700 and for a pack of 150 gram. It's a little expensive but it's it's one of the best food that I that I've found on the internet. Maybe it's not available anymore, but if I come across more, I will buy more packaging. Here is the ingredients if you want to take a look, read this. And here are the main contents of the uh, food. So we got protein is about 43%, fat is about 6%, which is good. Moisture is about 10%, and fiber is about 2.8%, which is also low. Good ash is about 11.4%. Decent composition of food. So let me just open this and show you how it looks from the inside and at the box You can see ocean nutrition good branding good packaging and let me show you that it is in fact made in Thailand So you can read here Yes, it is a Thailand based company. So there is that uh, Thailand has a very good business of uh, fish keeping and This brand is definitely one of the best that I've come across. So let me just open this and show you how it looks from the inside so this is how it looks let me show you in my hand as you can see this these are the sinking wafers and they are very very good for your fish I've been feeding them for more than a year now this is my second box uh, I got two uh, I've got one just sitting there for just just in case I'm not able to find this again uh, these doesn't break down that easily so it will take for the fish uh, at least 24 hours by the time they will be able to finish one and this is how they look so let me give you a little close up let me give them a smell so they smell like normal fish food but doesn't foul doesn't smell foul smells like a little bit of tobacco and lime mixed with some fish food that's how i'm getting it it does make the water a little bit of red just a tinge bit of red not a lot but i am happy with it because my all my fish eats it without any problem and i am seeing a significant improvement in their health I, i'm not sure whether other foods are available or not but this is one of the best that i came across so i am making a video about this after feeding this to my fish uh, for one year so there is that so the only thing left to do now is just give this to our fish and let me show you how my fish reacts and I will try to incorporate different varieties of fish and you will get an idea how different fish will react to this fish food or not. So let me just feed this to our fish and let's see how they react and how they eat this. Okay, so let us start with our uh, this tank. This, this tank has about 20 danios and about 3 corridoras. So I'm going to drop this in. and see how the fish reacts so that's two pellet they're sinking well as you can see right across there is a cori sitting let's see how she reacts she knows what's up and the second cori has come up here comes the danios and this is the annoying part because the only reason I bought this food for my Corridoras, I thought the Danios wouldn't eat this. But they are also eating this uh, at the bottom. So eventually I will separate my Corridoras but still I don't have any problem because I will also feed 
uh, some other food and the corridoras are eating just fine here comes all the fish and when you see all the fish coming together eating like this it really makes you happy and it looks really interesting So it looks like the fish are interested in the foods so that's a very good sign i will also try this with my friend's tank and we'll see how his fish reacts to this food uh, the other thing i want to see is that whether they are just picking at it or whether they will eventually eat this or not so i will tell you uh, how long the fish takes to eat this food now let us check with some other fish all right guys so here is my friend's three fit aquarium so let us see how the fish inside this tank reacts to this food. So let me just add a couple of pellets inside the tank and see how different fish reacts. So right off the bat you can see there is a couple of serpent tetras swimming around. There is also some glowfish tetra swimming around. Let's see which fish comes to eat the food first. So I think serpent tetra is looking at it now. Here comes a mountain minnow and looks like it got something in its mouth so the serpent atras are already nibbling at it they won't be able to eat it just yet because it's a big chunk and not it will not fit in in their mouth so eventually they will keep playing this kind of football from one end of of the tank to the other and once the piece will break into a couple of pieces then they will actually start eating it and there is a yellow danio swimming around danio is always eager to eat anything that you put inside your tank so it looks like all the fish are interested and this will keep happening and eventually they will finish the food. So that's a, that's a win in my, in my uh, opinion. And here is another fish tank of my friends and this is a little interesting fish tank because this is much more heavily planted. So we added again a couple of pellets in this tank and as you can see all the fish, fish are already nibbling at it, mostly some guppies and danios as i said in the beginning danios are always eager to eat anything so if you're starting out and you're a beginner in the hobby hobby you should start with keeping zebra danios i think they are the easiest fish to keep they don't need a heater so that's a plus you're already saving a lot of money uh, when just starting out so let me just give you top of the tank and see if it's anything visible from the top so not much we can see but let us go at the bottom and show you what is happening and you can see that the red shrimp is already eager to eat there is danios uh, guppies nibbling at the food and you will see in a moment that the shrimp is so crazy about this food that it it wouldn't care uh, that other fish could hurt the shrimp or not and you will see in a moment that the shrimp wouldn't care the shrimp just want a piece of it for himself so the shrimp will eventually come up he is just just brumming up some courage and as you can see it's the shrimp is already on top of the food so every fish that i have kept uh, tried to feed this food has liked it and in the beginning i thought that they are not eating it they are just nibbling at it but it is because it's a huge chunk they can't just eat it just like that so make sure if you're feeding this such kind of food you break them into small uh, small pieces at least a half or quarters and that will make it much easier for the fish to consume uh, even if you feed it just like that the fish will eventually br will be able to break it down the water will seep in and it will also break it down but if you want your fish to eat quickly, then you can break the, uh, the pellet down into multiple pieces, at least quarters or half. And your fish will find much easier to eat it. Uh, and your fish will be able to finish it uh, quicker than if you were to put a whole pellet inside like I've done this in this video. So as you can see, all the fish are going crazy about this. And that this is the reason I like to keep a small fish. With very few number of tanks, you can... Uh, experience the hobby with many fish compared to uh, a single tank with big fish so there we go this was my video on this ocean nutrition tropical wafers this is specially made for bottom feeder fish I mainly got this for my Corydora catfish and for the past one year I've been feeding this food to my fish not only Corydora catfish but all other fish in my tank and my friends friends tank 
uh, ate it without any problem. I, I could see a significant improvement in the health of my Corridoras. So this is a really good for fish food for bottom feeding fish. Uh, unfortunately, these pellets are not available in the market anymore. So I hope they will be available again. And hopefully I will be able to buy more, uh, at least one more container of this for my Corridora catfish. The other thing is that if Corridora, uh, all other fish are able to finish it because every other fish also likes it very much. So you don't have to worry about that if some food is left, other fish can easily finish this up. And if other fish don't eat it, they will eventually eat it. It's just that uh, the pellet is a little hard in the beginning. So it takes uh, some time for the pellet to disintegrate in the tank. Once it is disintegrated into multiple pieces, all other fish are easily able to consume this. So what you can also do to speed up that process is easily break one pellet into two, which is what I do. Uh, or if I want to control the portion of how I'm feeding, so I can easily break them into multiple pieces like I've broken here and sometimes it's a little easier to break sometimes it is not as you can see this one broke a little easier so you can put this pieces into your fish tank and your fish will eat this quickly the other th thing you can do that let's say you are going on a vacation for six seven days you can add three four pellets in the tank they don't spoil and i've seen fish are able to finish it within three four days without any problem i have had i haven't had any problem so far so there is that so that brings us to the end of this video I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.